I feel like I've survived. I like life. I like life. That's what it is. Anne starred in dozens of TV series and more than 40 movies, including a remake of Psycho and Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford. But her big acting break came on the NBC soap opera Another World, playing twins. It's the hardest work anybody could ever do. The role won Anne a Daytime Emmy Award, but it was her relationship with girlfriend Ellen DeGeneres that really put Anne in the spotlight. They started dating in 1997, the same year Ellen famously came out and brought Anne to the Emmys. Welcome to the Emmys, I say. Welcome to the Emmys, I say. Everybody. Obviously, she's a genius comedian. We're still so honeymoony. We're, we like to stay up until 4 o'clock in the morning and, and talk about life. They were together for three and a half years. One day after their breakup in 2000, Anne was found confused and disoriented after wandering into a private home near Fresno, California. She said a voice told her to take ecstasy. She wrote about it in her 2001 memoir, Call Me Crazy. I was flat out and strapped on a gurney in an all-white, kind of cramped room that seemed less than glorious as a stopping point on my way toward heaven. I wondered if it was going to be announced on TV or a loudspeaker or something. She has arrived! This spaceship is on its way! Gather in Fresno, just off the freeway! What was going on? I escaped to the fourth dimension. Anne had been through a lot. She had an abusive father with a double life. I think my family story is very disturbing. And I think some people would like that reality to stay buried. I believe I was sexually abused by my father from the time I was a very young girl, actually before I could speak, up until the time I was 12. Dad died on March 4th, 1983. He was one of the first cases of AIDS diagnosed in the United States. When you learned that your father had AIDS, did you think I might have AIDS? Absolutely. But I thought I was going to die. She told ABC News that to cope with her father's abuse, she escaped to a fantasy world and another personality. I called my other personality Celestia. I called the other world that I created for myself the fourth dimension. I believed I was from that world. I believed I was from another planet. I think I was insane. Anne's movie career may have diminished, but in the last few years, she kept busy with acting roles. You protecting your little girlfriend? She recently starred in The Vanished for Netflix and plays a lawyer on the own show, All Rise. And you don't think that's going to get laughed out of court? The actress also appears in the weekend's upcoming HBO series, The Idol. E.T. sat down with Anne in 2020 after she competed on Dancing with the Stars and asked her about reconnecting with Ellen. So if Ellen does call you, what do you say to her? Wrong number. No, I'm kidding. Oh, can I call you back after I have a, a shot? <laughs> Anne was a mother of two. She shared her son Homer with ex-husband real estate agent Coley LaFoon and another Atlas with her ex and former Men in Trees co-star James Tupper. Despite the pain of her past, Anne always hoped sharing her story would help others. I lived a crazy life. I was raised in a crazy family and it took me 31 years to get the crazy out of me to overcome difficulties in your life and to understand that you can get to the other side of them is, is really what my, what my hope is for people who have been, who have been raised in, in difficult circumstances.